All right, ladies, let's talk contour. I know I was always terrified of the idea of contour because it looked very intimidating. And I thought it was just something that I could skip within my makeup routine. I didn't think it was necessary until I tried it. And then I realized the world of difference that it makes. So contour is about adding dimension to your face. It's about accentuating the natural features that you already have by using the shadows that the sun naturally will give you. So think about it this way. When the sun is shining down on your face, it's gonna hit the high points, which are gonna be your cheekbones, which means you're gonna naturally have that shadow below it. Do you see how I have that natural shadow there? That's what we're going to use to our benefit to accentuate our face and take it from a one-dimensional to a three-dimensional. Give our face a little bit more character and a little bit more lift. That's definitely something we need as we age, as things start to always come down, we wanna be able to pull them back up. All right, so let's just jump right into it. I've already gone ahead and put on my main and my brightening highlight. So what you're seeing right here is just plain Jane, kind of like what you would normally get with your regular foundation or your regular makeup routine. Contour can be as simple or as complicated as you make it. So if you want to start contouring for your specific face shape, no problem. I can drop some graphics in a post later on and you can try that. But if you're a makeup newbie, I highly suggest just starting with the basics and then as you get comfortable, you can go on. So you're gonna go to your eyebrows, the highest point of your eyebrows and make a triangle. Anything outside of that triangle is free game to contour. You wanna keep anything inside that triangle bright because you want to bring the focus into your face. So normally around your eyes, right? So that's where you should have placed your brightening highlight. So today I'm gonna to show you the simple version with a few little tips or tricks just sprinkled right on in. So we've talked about this time and time again, but you can place your product any way that you prefer. You can use the cheetah dot method. So you can just do this. Or you can go in with your brush and just go into the product, picking it up and going like that. This is totally personal preference. I prefer to do it with my brush. I just find I get better placement and you wanna make sure that you're blending it into your hairline, but then also blending it down so that it melds with your regular makeup already. I find that my scalp tends to be a lot lighter than obviously what my contour is. So I do make sure that I get all the way up there, even though I'm not gonna wear my hair like pulled back, but you can bring it up here too if you need to. So from here, we're gonna go around and down. So I'm just taking a little bit more of that product and bringing it down under my jawline. Now you wanna make sure that you also blend this down into your neck. You don't wanna have that harsh line. So again, you're taking those natural shadows and you're utilizing them already to slim your face. When I go ahead and color match you, there's a couple things that I'm looking at. I'm looking at your hair color, your root color, I'm looking at your eye color, your brow color, and what that helps me determine is what contour is gonna be better for you. I'm looking for the true undertones of your skin. Do you have warm undertones? Do you have cool undertones? Are you pretty neutral? That's why when you fill out that color match form, there's those different questions about whether you tan or whether you don't. That's to help me determine what kind of undertones you truly have in your skin. The contour is more of an ashier color than typically what your bronzer may or may not be. So I'm gonna use that to help me pick the best choice for you. Contouring is this easy, believe me. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do our cheek contour, okay? So there's two separate ways that you can do this. One is going to be just a straight up line down your cheek, okay? So find your cheekbone and just go directly underneath of it. And then the other one that we're gonna do is gonna create a little bit more fullness, but think like Nike swoop. So the apple on my cheek is right here and I'm just gonna create like this little check mark, swoop. Let's do the straight up one first. So taking my detail brush, I'm gonna start at the high point and just bring it slightly down. Scary, right? I know. Okay. 
Now, do you see how it's maybe a little bit thicker than what I want it to be? No problem, that's the whole benefit of having cream is that you literally can just do this. See how that made that easier? Here is that you don't wanna go past the center of your eye. The reason being why is that you wanna make sure that you're lifting. So think pouncing up, not pulling down. Okay, as we age, like I said before, things start to come down and this is when we want to bring it back up. Okay, a lot of people will do this. Mm -mm. Look how much lower that hollow actually is for me. It's way the heck down here. Mm -mm. So if I did that. Look how this brings this down. Look how this lifts this up. See the difference? The fullness is now like way down here. Nobody wants that. So I'm gonna wipe her off and I'm gonna show you the Nike swoop. So just to get started, I'm gonna, again, put it into my detail brush. Now, one way that you can make sure that your lineage is better is by pinching. So pinch your brush end, make it tiny and just place. Okay, see how much different that line is? Now go ahead and just blend. So again, not going past the center of your eye. Flip it around, take the smaller end, find the apple of your cheek, like I said before, and just create that swoop. Okay, so see how that one adds more fullness here. And this one is just lifted. So again, this is totally personal preference. One other little tip or trick. So you remember how this side was a little bit too much? Take your main foundation and just clean up that line. See how much cleaner that made it? You can do the same on the top if you want. I'm using very, very minimal product though. You don't wanna be layering too much product over top. Let's talk about nose contour. So with your nose contour, there's two options. You can go ahead and take the side of your brush and really just kind of tap it in just so that you get the very edge. So just notice that I'm just gonna go along the side here. like that. Now, I like to take the smaller end and just kind of blend this in. You can also like use just the smaller end. You can use your fingers if you're doing the cheetah hack. Some ladies like to pull this contour all the way down the sides of their nose. I don't prefer that, but again, you do you. If you wanna make your nose look slimmer on the end, just take a little bit more to slim that down. Now what we're gonna do to add that little bit of an extra step, go in with your brightening highlight and just place that brightening highlight there again. See the difference? Isn't that crazy? The last place that I typically contour is the bottom of my lip. Now the reason why I do this is to give a little bit more of a fuller lip um, and that kind of like pouty lip look. So again, I'm just going in with a smaller end. You don't have to use very much. It doesn't have to be very, very detailed. And that's it. So contour goes around the outside, into the cheekbones, down the sides of your nose, and around the bottom of your lip. Contour is not scary. It's not hard. It's just something that you need to get used to. I hope this helped.